Hi everyone, Jay Swanson here. So I don't know what your living situation is like, but mine's a little bit strange. I mean, if I were a freshman in the dorms, it wouldn't be that strange really. I live with enough space to sleep and pretty much stretch in the morning if I feel like it. Who stretches in the morning? And I live between a whole bunch of random people that I only see when they've been drinking copious amounts of alcohol and I find them out in the middle of the hallway. So aside from that, it's really pretty much exactly like living in the dorms. Wait, that wasn't really what I was going for to begin with. I think pretty much everybody in the hallway here that I live in, do I live in a hallway? Okay, pretty much everybody that lives along here are women. I'm pretty sure, except for this one guy that I've seen on occasion twice. He looks like Napoleon and he scurries away every time I cross paths with him. But nobody can beat the scurrying of the hermit crab. Who is the hermit crab, you might be asking? The hermit crab is the nickname that I have for the girl that lives at the end of the hall by the toilets. Yes, we all share the same two toilets. And she always keeps her door open, which I don't understand. If you live by the toilets, I would not keep my door open ever. But she always leaves her door open and as soon as I step into the hallway, the door slowly closes. Like she's just sitting by the door waiting for somebody to walk by and close the door on them. I mean, these places aren't that small. They're small, but they're not that small. She has to be like all the way over there by her door, just waiting to close it if somebody walks by. And she always manages to do it. I've never stepped out. The only time that I've ever stepped out and the door is not shut is because she's in the toilet and then she closes the door, which makes me think that she must have done something horrible in the bathroom. And now I don't want to go down there because it probably stinks horribly. And then there's the woman that lives directly next door to me. I will speak a little bit more quietly right now just in case her English got significantly better recently. But every time I step into the hallway, I immediately think old lady lotion. I don't know if you have a concept for what that is yourself, but that's a smell. There's a very strong connotation for that smell for me. Basically, when I step into the hallway, I immediately am like, Grandma? Grandma, if you're watching this, don't worry. I mean, she is young and beautiful and she lives right next door to me, but there is something really freaking weird about stepping out into your hallway and smelling your grandma, especially when you know your grandma is nowhere nearby. Anyways, I'll tell you a few more stories some other time, but that's all, that I don't have any more time right now. Make sure you tune in on Friday. I'm gonna talk about the mystery of hot water faucets in France. I know that doesn't sound exactly, you know, enthralling, but at the same time, I don't understand what's wrong with the hot water faucets in this country. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you wouldn't mind if you made it this far. I hope you made it this far and I will see you on Friday.